tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dreams. Let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. I'm here for another video. This one is a doozy, but we, as in you and I, are about to put together all these puzzle pieces. <laughs> it's Jermaine Dupri, it's Carlos King, it's Candy Burst, it's RHOA, it's own, it's everything. So for starters, I want to shout out to House of Aaron, who landed an interview with Candy. It was a really big interview. And he was very deserving of it. But one of the questions he asked was about the issues between Carlos King and Candy Burris. Candy acknowledged that her main issue with Carlos is the fact that he stole her life story. That is, Carlos wanted to make the escape biopic unauthorized, and he never told her about it. In addition to that, he wanted to talk to Mama Joyce to get interview to interview mama joyce to get inside information and dirt while never telling candy up until this point i don't think anybody really realized that everybody thought that candy's issue with carlos was probably that rumor that phaedra had put out while on rhoa i believe that was season nine she broke the internet guys it was on the shade room, it was everywhere. And so it got me to researching. And I found out that Michelle A.T. Michelle Alien Brown had actually ran the story years ago, as well stating that Jermaine Dupri actually gave the clearance to Carlos King. So you know me, I do my little investigating, I do my deep dives. And so I started, and this is what I found. So on Still Kicking It, a Bravo show that followed Escape reuniting, the girls, the members, they had a meeting with Jermaine Dupri where they stated that the catalyst for them getting back together was Jermaine Dupri going to and giving their clearance to do the biopic to somebody. Nobody named a name on the show. So when you piece together the fact that Candy said Carlos King was the one who was going to steal her life story, and then you have Candy confronting Jermaine Dupri about giving that clearance, bingo, those are the players in this. And it's not just Candy's life story. It's actually more like an unauthorized biopic. Well, technically... It probably would have been an authorized biopic because Jermaine Dupri owns the rights to all escape songs. So basically, it's not so much that he sold their life away to Carlos King. He would have gotten the clearance. And when music is licensed, then he gets paid. So technically, he would have been paid. Carlos would have been paid by the network to produce this movie and... Candy and the rest of the escape girls would have basically just been watching their own life story on whatever network bought it. This is messy, y'all. <laughs> this is really messy. <laughs> we'll get into a little bit of the backstory. So the good news that came out of the biopic being shopped around was escape band from the 90s, platinum selling artists got back together as adults. They were able to reunite. Like I told you before, they did that show on Bravo about them reuniting. And they're even cool again with Jermaine Dupri. I don't know exactly why the same couldn't be done with Candy and Carlos, but let's get into a little bit of the backdrop. So while the band was together, one of the things that broke them up was one of the members went on the radio and said that Candy was sleeping with Jermaine Dupri and, <laughs> and his dad. 
Supposedly there was a big brawl, like a physical altercation took place. The band disbanded. Tiny and Candy remained friends. The two sisters stuck together and kind of Tiny was in the middle. We cut to present day. Again, they were not going to get back together. It was once they heard this biopic was happening, they banded together, they spoke again, and then we had the Escape Reunion Tour. Here's the thing, as it involves Candy and Carlos specifically. You can make an unauthorized biopic. There's no rule against it. Typically though, if you're doing a biopic about a singing group, you need the music from that group. We have all seen biopics that did not have access to the music and it felt like something was missing. In Candy's mind, her and Carlos not only were friends, but they had a working relationship. Todd actually produced a show, Hollywood Divas, with Carlos King. It ran for three seasons. Carlos King was the executive producer of RHOA, uh, where Candy was added to that cast, season two. So they had their own relationship. I don't know exactly where they could go from here because Candy is obviously hurt. Um, Candy stated that she found out about it while she was actually sharing an office space with him. So for Carlos, if he involved Jermaine Dupri to license the music, then he involved all of the girls from Escape, that's cutting a piece of the pie for this project. So as a for a business standpoint, if he could do it without her, I can understand him cutting her out of the deal. Because a lot of the information about the girl group is already out there. You can use interviews and things like that nature. But if you have a working relationship with somebody, you're sharing an office space, We, her husband is EPing a project with you, the question is, do you owe that person a heads up? Like, this is what I wanna do. Do you try to bring this person in? I don't know. I wanna hear from you guys, cause this is a mess. And like I said, I respect all parties involved. All of them are titans in their own industry and in their own right. I don't personally know if it was worth it. I think an escape biopic could be a great thing um, because the reunion tour was very successful, but I don't think it should have been worth it for them to end their friendship. I wanna hear from you guys because now you have all the facts, you know exactly what it was. Jermaine Dupri licensed the music to Carlos King to executive produce and create a authorized slash unauthorized biopic of the girls while maintaining a working relationship and friendship with Candy. That's a lot of pieces, but y'all, the mystery is solved. Those were the three major parties involved in this. I wanna hear from you all. Who do you think was right? Who do you think was wrong? Do you think it was just business? Do you think that these two people can get back together? Because I love Hollywood divas. Carlos King even mentioned back in 2021 there was potential for it to come back. So I don't know who owns it. I don't know if Todd would be included in that, but I would love to see Hollywood Divas, y'all. <laughs> I love that show. I love Countess Vaughn. So you let me know what you think in the comments. And who knows, maybe Candy, Carlos, Jermaine will watch this and they'll respond. <laughs> Either way it goes, like and subscribe. I'm giving you guys daily and consistent content. <sighs> this one was a doozy. I'll see you guys for the next one.